Okay, so, uh, gotta be careful. There's some sleepy boys around here, or sleep bots. You, you know, I will say, I haven't commented on it, but it's like, do you actually like any of these robots? Because, you know, hey, you played this... You played this game, and you're a person who likes robots? Or, you know, like, my icon should give it away. Um, personally, yeah, I do enjoy uh, robot characters and, you know, creatures and stuff. Uh, whether or not they're any good, ooh, is a different story altogether. Yeah, like, here's the thing. If it's any good, I'll usually say, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, the robots are pretty nice. They're pretty cool. They're pretty all right overall. But it really all depends on, like, character, personality, and stuff like that. And I will say, the robots that are made for this game, like, uh, you know, the whole uh, combat thing, you know, combat-orientated-wise, they're fine, and they're interesting as concepts overall. Like, I think, uh, you know, the robots in this game are pretty cool, especially for some of the boss fights as ideas. But, you know, in execution, they're a little easier to deal with, and that's fine. That's all right. So, it's it's not like something where it's like, oh yeah, the, the characters or the robots themselves aren't interesting. They're just, they are interesting. It's just, you know, simple in concept and how they're handled. Uh, yeah, they're asking a lot of you to immediately, like, you know, hey, press this button um, and turn into a ball and go around a corner. That's asking a lot there, pals. Okay, whoo! Man, that's a little bit more difficult than I remembered it being. Ah, Christ. Ah, great. This is the only robot, well, one of the two only robots, that I really don't like in this game because of, like, you know, having to slow down and doing that. And also because, you know, hey, the controllers, while it's good and all, it is a little bit finicky as to what sneaking is. It's like if I press it too hard, a little bit too hard to the left, it'll go, nope, you can't do that. I uh, would call it, that's not sneaking, you moved. Now get attacked and get to take damage. You know, that type of stuff. I like how he keeps on trying to get me, and it's like... Uh, he keeps on... It's like as if he's like saying, like, anytime the cutscene doesn't happen, it's like... There you are, the cutscene happens, and I'm like, uh, where, where do you go? And then it's like, ha, huh, there you are, and it's like, wait, where do you go? It, it's kind of... It's just overall kind of funny to think about, overall. I don't know, I just think it's kind of funny to see them, like, continuously go up and down and then, like, trying to see me and not able to attack me because of the cutscene. It's, it's just funny to me. Okay, now I can switch over to, uh, yeah, Sandy if I want to in order to get something. Or, you know, progress in the level now. At least I was able to deal with this robot. Uh, if I switched over to her, actually, I could have actually ended this sooner. Eh, it doesn't matter. I made my mistakes. Okay, let's try this. Nice! Now that was pretty good. Okay, let's get this. I think there should be another one somewhere further up. But I'm not 100% certain on that. Yes! Ha <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this is sequence breaking, but hey, I got it. <laughs> like, in all honesty, I have no idea if I need to have gotten this or not, like, right now? So, it's at least something. I got it. <laughs> like, I will say, that's also something I'll give the game credit for. There's a lot of uh, certain ish certain situations where you can sequen br sequence break in the game. And it's like, huh, that's interesting. I, I know you could actually do that. Or it's more like choice. Con yeah. Uh, considering of how what he's known for, I'm pretty sure you could guess that he's in, like he's responsible for this. But yeah, overall, like this game does allow you to pick and choose certain stuff. Like, oh, you could always, you know, farm money in order to get spatulas if you're ha if you're stuck on a certain challenge, 
Or you could just not collect them and get them from somewhere else. I have to give it credit for that, at least. Nonsense! I only wanna help! Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing! Say, see those lasers there? Oh boy. You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? What kind of washing machine do you have? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. I I'm glad everyone knows the name of it, otherwise I would have been confused by it. Better not be some kind of trick, varmint. I mean, with him it usually is, but considering the situation, I think we can afford to, you know, you know, follow his ruling for now. Oh, right. I was thinking, okay, uh, is that it? It was like, all right, there has to be a duplicon duplicator tron somewhere. Right, let's see. Yeah, duplicator tron. Okay, no, the glass breaking isn't, you know, them technically. But it is something similar. Hold up. For Pete's sakes! I, I hate those. I, uh, uh, man, I hate it when that happens specifically. Uh, but also, yeah, that's also another issue with this game. It has terrible, like, what do you call it? Knockback. Oh god, the knockback. Like, Jesus, the knockback is extreme in this game. Okay, hold up. Just because I want to. F you in particular, little robot. I oh, don't know, I thought it was kind of funny. But yeah, I hate the knockback in this game because, my god, does it push you so far back. Okay. Okay, so I think... Uh, yeah, I think doing this whole, um, what do you call it? Destroying, no, not destroying. Just, uh, activating the layers might destroy that thing up top. I assume. Okay, whew. That was kind of weird for a second. Oh. Okay. Oh! Are okay, there any more coming from here? Okay, good. Okay, so... I'm trying to think. Uh, at least I was able to get through uh, to the other sides there for a second. Okay, I'm just double checking. So, yeah, I was able to, you know, do the thing. I thought that platform down below was actually gonna give way and actually, like, crumble, and I was like, Oh god, I gotta move. At least those types of situations make me think of it. It's like, usually that's what happens. I think I could actually make the entire trip. Oh god. Ooh! That actually worked out better than I expected. Yeah, I know. But hey, health is health either way. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not doing this on purpose. Like the whole jumping out and stuff. It's just, I just want to do that. What was that noise? Uh, whatever. Uh, whatever. Let's just turn this laser back on. Okay, what does this giant laser do? Because I see a giant laser. Okay. Well, at least we have a place to go to the end now. So, I guess that's what that laser does. Okay. 
and powers up. Okay, so the three lasers charge up another larger laser. Okay, seems a little bit excessive, but okay. Nothing a little southern elbow grease can't handle. Now go step in front of the lasers. <laughs> 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 I do like the like I do like that you know hey it, it like yeah it, he would definitely tell someone go walk into the lasers and it's like yeah no <laughs> uh, I I just find that kind of funny it's a small joke but it's still pretty funny okay so which way is the exit okay there that way Okay, at least I got a uh, spatula out of that. Okay, so now we can go out, out of here. We can get out of here now. I think I need to be Sandy for a second, and then I can switch back to... You know, I can switch back to... Okay, well, mm, I think I'm supposed to use this robot nor these robots to hit this robot, but eh, could be wrong. Okay, there we go. Got him. I'm honestly not sure if like uh, SpongeBob could actually make these jumps. Okay, well, at least those two got destroyed for some reason, at least. Okay, now moving on. Like, I think SpongeBob could make these jumps, but, you know, hey. Having Sandy do it is pretty nice. Oh, for Pete's sakes! Oh, well. Well, at least I didn't have to go and destroy it. Or at least that other uh, sleep bot isn't activated here. Okay, there we go. Deal with that guy out right away. Okay. Okay, well, at least I'm able to get through here now. Okay, switch over to SpongeBob because I'm gonna need him for dealing with those sneak bots. Or that sleepy bot. Or, you know, I, I forget the specific name, so. As a kid, I had no idea how to deal with these guys. Well, I mean, they told me, hey, to sneak, but then. The whole, oh yeah, well, here comes, what do you call it, this whole uh, thing where it's like, oh yeah, we're going to have you, look, you're supposed to sneak, but hey, why not make it, you know, uh, <laughs> or maybe it's from behind that you can hit these guys, maybe that's what it is. Anyway, yeah, uh, we're, we're going to make you sneak, but we're going to make you anxiety filled as you sneak towards them, because the light is going to change red, which makes you think, wait, am I screwing up, what am I doing, oh no, oh no, oh no, <laughs> you know, that type of thing. So, hey, <laughs> like, I get it, I get it, you know, you want to tell the player, oh, they're really, really close, so don't screw up or be careful when you're going near them, but still, I think the light should be an indicator as to whether or not, you know, you're being sneaky at all, like, oh, yeah, if you're going too fast, it should turn red, not when you're sneaking up towards them, it should turn red. Anyway, anyway, yeah, that should do it for about, uh... What do you call it? Uh, rock bottom, actually. Actually, yeah, I was able to complete this place, surprisingly enough. Again, I'm not going to complete every single level in this game, just Last piece of get mostly for, everything. Huh? I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Yeah, uh, although I will say, I should possibly uh, get that sock from like uh, the museum at Sandy, maybe? I don't well, know. now, Depends. nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen, and here's your reward. 
Thank you. I'm ready for driving school to start up again. After all these robots are gone. Hmm. Maybe these robots aren't so bad after all. <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I will say, the whole joke of like SpongeBob not being able to drive has always been like a decent joke overall. I think. Anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, get that sock and. Maybe I'll just leave the level or maybe I won't include it. It depends. Uh, so I'll just be getting it. So I'll see you when I uh, get out of rock bottom or the sock, I guess. Whatever.